Hey, what's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and today we're going on a little adventure. So I am going a little stir crazy in the house. I've been in the house for an entire week, I think, with little breaks here and there to go out and do things that I didn't really want to do anyway, like grocery shopping. So I thought that I would go take a stroll around. I have to hit the hardware store anyway for some garden stuff, so I figured we could take a peek at the house plants. I haven't taken you guys plant shopping in forever, so let's just do it. The wind is crazy here today, so. Making a quick pit stop here, uh, as I do on all of my me days, when I really, really need it, I come here and I pay $4 and wait 15 minutes in line to get an iced tea because it's delicious and, and I regret it almost every time, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, I don't think I breathed the entire time I was in there because I am terrified of catching diseases being out in public lately, but look at that. <laughs> That's a s'more cookie. Oh, mama's being bad. Okay, you know, I just park nice and far away from people so I can vlog and then they park right next to me. Okay, bad light. Okay, so we are at Home Depot and we're starting there. So let's check it out. Obviously, checking the seeds. Obviously. I can't stop. Sparks. I'm guessing that they haven't gotten a shipment in in a while. Leftover Christmas cactus. Okay. Looking rough. Cactus at good prices. Okay, so we have arrived at Lowe's. 
And with the eternal sound struggles, every time I forget to take my earbuds out, they overrule my microphone and screw me later on. So, hi, editing Pam here. This is just me complaining about Lowe's, how terrible it is. I'm just preparing you. They keep their plants in the dark. It's, uh, it's a very sad situation. So, let's uh, come along and enjoy it. Those your trending tropicals have made it here. I actually paid less than that for my ZZ. This begonia looks terrible. These are very impressive though. What we got here? Extremely sad rosemary. They have a very similar light to this at Ocean State Job Lot for much cheaper. Spider mites. Is it, oh God, don't touch me. Here's the rescue what in the fuck. <laughs> Humans are a plague on nature. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, these are all on clearance. So if you'd like to save some money on some spider mice, there you go. Look at these bops. Here's the plants in the dark. It actually smells like rotting plants over here. Okay, ficus pumila. Variegated ivy, or is it diseased? I do kind of like that ivy. It's pretty. Here. Mm, nothing I want. I got some ferns in there. Yeah, that's about it, folks. Cruelty. So I decided to make one more stop on the way home. Now, this place was really, really loud. You actually couldn't hear anything I was saying. So I'm just gonna voice it over. Uh, we can talk a little more while I do that. But first of all, let's just appreciate this Monstera Deliciosa right when you first walk in. Now this is the reason I wanna show you the guys this place, even though, um, as you will see, the plants are in pretty bad shape. So I, 
to my utter surprise, the people who I have asked that work here don't really know very much about this place uh, before they started working here. So I don't know how old this Monstera is, but look at this thing. And they have so many huge specimens. I'll show you. First of all, look at this lie. Like how excited was I? Pretty sure that's not a begonia, right? That thing is a metaphor for this entire nursery, as you will see. So um, you're gonna see a lot of dead plants, a lot of dying plants, a lot of pests, and also some pretty cool plants. So this is the thing with this place. It's really close to my house, which is one of the reasons why I'm not mentioning the name of the place. The other one being, um, I would be embarrassed if this was on YouTube and it was my nursery, frankly. Um, but the thing with this place is, is if you really hunt, and if you get there when they first get shipments in, a lot of times you can find some cool stuff. This is actually the place where I got my variegated string of hearts about two years ago. It had just broken off of another plant and was attached to my regular string of hearts. And I didn't really notice that it wasn't attached right away. But once I did, I realized that I had a rarer cultivar of that plant and uh, these guys didn't even know that it was rare. So that's the other upside is that because they don't know a whole lot about plants, uh, ironically, you can get some really good deals here. A seriously beautiful Norfolk pine. You will see some beautiful stuff in here and it, trust me, it is surviving despite this nursery scare. Oh, there's some freshly drenched Estravaria that have not been devoured by mealybugs yet. I know I'm being really snarky, but trust me, I have been coming to this place for about six years and they grow more and more disappointing every year. Uh, so this is generally the safe zone. You can sort of shop here because these are their recent uh, imported plants, if you will. They're shipped in from a big nursery. So they really haven't had a lot of time to become completely bogged down in pests or be ruined by the people who take care of the plants. Um, they tend to overwater everything. So these guys are usually safe for the picking. Sometimes you can find some cool plants in here. I definitely bought a lot of things from this place uh, before I learned about online ordering. You know, you, you take the good with the bad. From what I have gleaned from some of the reviews online, which most of them are not great, um, this place does a lot of gift baskets, um, you know, bouquets, just basically floral orders. So I think that they are more into the floral orders and the outside um, perennial plants than they are, you know, maintaining these house plants, which is frustrating because when you see the gigantic plants in the back of this place in just a minute, you're gonna understand why I get so sad. And the irony that the maidenhair fern is looking so lush among all these dead plants is, is not lost on me. I thought this was kind of wild. I am guessing that this was not a intentional companion planting, but I'm not sure. But there's just this clover interplanted with all kinds of stuff over here. And it seemed to just be in this one area. This is actually where I got my heart leaf fern, I think. Um, but clearly a little too late for that one. <laughs> a bunch of spider plant propagations uh, probably come with free spider okay I'm gonna stop now I, I promise I'll stop Here's some proven winners. They're uh, doing great. I, uh, I can't stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
I apologize. Don't come at me in the comments, all right? You knew what you signed up for when you showed up to this channel, okay? We come with snark up in this house. I just love these little guys. Is that a Crassula? I think it might be a Crassula. I kind of want one, but uh, probably not from here. Although a lot of theirs look pretty good. They have a lot of leftover Christmas cactus, or these actually might be Easter cactus that they've propagated. It's hard to tell. They always look really bad when they're in season, you know, to be purchased. So I'm not really sure how they sell a lot of them. Um, so here is why we don't shop at this nursery, folks right there you see that that is a mealybug and there are so many and they are always all over these plants and they are front and center and really obvious and no one does anything about it and yes i have told them no they don't care but look at these freaking plants like isn't it tragic i just want to come in here and beg them to give me these plants just give them to me look at that thematophyllum bipenna bipenna don't judge me okay these birds of paradise are insane and they're just riddled with bugs. Oh, so upsetting, but aren't they impressive anyway? I mean, these actually used to be a lot bigger and they have hacked away at a lot of it. Uh, and they, again, they don't know how old these plants are or the, you know, like really very much about them. So it, it's kind of killing me. I, I'd love to know. I'm gonna show you some super old cacti back here too. They have all of these guys just stashed back here, just rotten away. Well, they're not rotten, but you know, nobody appreciates them back here is what I'm saying besides me. Look at that monstera. And then check out this pile of epiphyllum. It's crazy. I love this little philodendron just tucked in there. It's, it's crazy if you every time I come here I find something new and and something neglected and I just wish I could save look at that Jumanji shit huge so I hope you guys had a good time hanging out with me today even though so many things were in tragic tragic shape uh, this place is fun to just try to treasure hunt in sometimes and uh, I'm gonna go home and shower myself off in neem oil and bleach right now. I also figured out uh, which kind of Kalanchoe I have so it wasn't a totally wasted trip at all. So I will see you guys soon in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.